Rahman Rahim Ati Allah Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself an abdik al ajisa da'ifu miskeen al zalim al jahal and by for the grace of Allah Zabajan that we are still in existence alhamdulillah in this 10th lunar month and the realities of Shawwal and the secret of a binary code and the reality of one and zero, the reality of on and off. And this reality of learning to turn off is a secret to our life's success. That everything in the world, satanic system is to turn on and by virtue of being on you can conquer, you can achieve, you are the one, you're the one and only. And the way of the heavens teaches us that actual power, real power and real closeness is learned through the binary code because this is what Islam brought to the world. Al-Jabra and the realities of one and Nukht and the numbers. Why? Because of the immensity of its reality towards the Divine the Presence. That in every aspect of our life and our spiritual life that if we try to be the one we draw away from God, we draw away from Allah because if you're the one there's no need for the one and as a result you reflect and repel from that presence. And all of spiritual practices and religious practices and even the religion itself is called submit in Islam to submit and taslim so that your life's path is that this material world tells us to be a one because that was the character of shaitan. When God asked him to bow down he said, no I am the one. As a result of coming onto earth that is the characteristic of the earth and the material desires of the earth. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Earth is to make you the one, and that becomes the pharaonic bloodline, the pharaonic system, an ananiya. I am. And we said before they talk everything is I, I did this, I did that, I am this, I have accomplished this. Everything in them is about I. How can that I ever submit to go to God? It can't because it actually thinks it is a God. If you give it enough rope it will hang itself thinking it's God. So Allah asking Qur'an, have you seen those who they make their desires their Lord? Whatever they desire they say, that's how God is and as a result my one and one and we're together, we're buddies. And it's but an illusion and Allah describes shaitan makes their illusions to seem fair to them. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that's the way it is. And Islam comes, Prophet come and awliyaullah come as guides to teach, no, no, our life is about the nukht, to be a dot. 
to efface oneself and know when to shut off. And if we're trying to approach the Divine then all our training will be based on how to shut off so that I have the character of dropping my energy, being nothing, being nothing. And as a result of being nothing you draw near to the Divinely Presence. So that's why then you come to all their teaching and they begin to teach, don't have pride, don't have arrogance, try to diminish anger. All those characteristics are the characteristics of the, the people of one, the people of this character that they are the one because egoism. When egoism enters, we said before in the levels of the nafs, why somebody is insulted is because their ego has been insulted. Why someone faces a difficulty is because the ego is insulted, the ego expected something different. And Allah wants for us in our character to be nothing. And if in our life we train in this system of dropping, go back into a phase of nothing, we draw near to the Divinely Presence. And then we begin to identify all our characteristics in life and then we ask people to think, who's sitting on the chair when we react? Is it my soul? Is it my ego? Is it my devil? Because everyone has an assigned devil to them to test them so that we can do our daily accounting. As a result of the daily accounting and muhasaba, taking an accounting of oneself and say, who's sitting on the chair and these decisions I'm making, these issues I'm facing, the being upset about this or being upset about that. Then we can understand that is this a, a process of turning off or turning on? If it's for the soul you're gonna turn off. If it's for the ego you're gonna turn on. They said something, you replied, that wasn't for the soul. So then that issue becomes, that was for my ego. Something was done to you. You reacted, that was for the ego. Something was said to you, you reacted, that was for the ego. If we give enough to the ego through the day then we were in the process of becoming on, more than off and as a result we did not draw near to Allah that day. So it becomes a lifelong process of, my Lord please give me the humility to Take it in which whatever difficulty is coming, whatever testing is coming is to achieve that state of nothingness in which everything within me wants to be recognized. Whether work, family, home, spiritual, whatever uh, it is in life, spiritual most, more so because everybody wants to be spiritually recognized. So it means that everything is about shutting off. If we can achieve that state of off we actually reach closer to being on because the illusionary on of the devil has no power. Egoism has no power whatsoever, it's all an illusion. People who are egoistic they talk too much, I have this, I have that, I have this, I have that and all the next day takes it all away. And the guy's in jail. Mm -hmm. Where's all that, that you power you thought you had? All in a second can take somebody down. That's not real power, that's not really on. But the one whom reached nothing actually reached the one, the one that counts. If you reach to the one that counts and you become eternally on, for all of eternity Allah address you from the oceans of da'im that you draw near to my Divinely Presence, address you from my eternal Divinely Lights. 
in which eternally your soul is dressed, eternally your soul is blessed, eternally your soul is on a journey towards the Divinely Presence, that's power. So then this way is a journey to the Lord of power because of its immensity. You want money? Don't follow those websites that teach you how to hustle. Follow Allah because they don't write your check, Allah writes your check. They give you nothing. They give you the illusion of ideas and that's everything in this world. If you listen for the fact of information and ideas and resources, no problem. But if you think they're going to give you something, they're going to bring you money, the tariqah teaching is actually become nothing, draw near to Allah the one who writes your check. Because Allah is happy with you, He give you in ways that you could never imagine. And if all the world tried to stop you, nothing can come near you. But if you didn't draw near to Allah and you drew to the fake one, the Dajjalic system, the Pharaonic system, Allah says, if they all try to give it to you, I'll take it but in one second from your life. I take everything from you and you can't keep it in your hands. So it means in our life the depth of understanding to be off. Then Prophet this is in our journey towards Allah Prophet came and gave for his nation that we are the people of Samina wa Atana, that we heard and we obeyed the command. Allah, Atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum and again Samina wa Atana is binary code. Is the station in which to listen, the guidance that comes, listen. So what made the prophetic reality his reality? Why is he's the Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the master of all prophets, the master of all creation because Allah created him from the reality of the Samina wa Atana. He is the reality of the binary code in which his soul is created in that reality. That he is in eternal presence of off and the Divine is on and as a result what you got of information was from the Divinely Presence. That's why the Kitab, Holy Qur'an is from Divinely Presence because the master of that book was off, means he didn't write a book about himself. More mention of Sayyidina Isa and Sayyidina Musa in the book than the name Muhammad but it's all haqqaiqs are because as he turned off Allah revealed and as a result of being off Allah revealed immense love for the reality. But we'll look to people because people think, well no we have to be on to have power, we have to be on to go and take our rights. So no if that's if you want your rights from Pharaoh. But the way of haqqaiq is in a life of Samina wa Atana. That what we heard from Prophet we live our life to complete that to the best of our ability. It's not something easy you say, okay I'm going to do that tomorrow. No, it's the biggest jihad that you can have, the biggest fight that you can have is not to fight other people but to fight ourselves to submit to the prophetic law, the prophetic way. Everything that Prophet brought for us in our lives, our greatest struggle is to hear and obey. And our life is that purpose, so it means that we're always calibrating ourselves, are we trying our best to hear and obey because it's going to require a lot of turning off. 
We said in every aspect of our life, family functions, everybody's on, everybody wants to come looking like they're on, you're going to walk in off. You look off is what they say, right? You look off, something's different with you. What's that big furry thing you have on your face? <laughs> right? So you're off and exactly the way Allah wanted it. If you're going to be on for these people, you're going, to, you're going to move in a different direction. If you want to be on for the Divinely Presence, you're going to look off to them, something off with you. Yeah, in your eyes but not in my, my Lord's eyes. So we're getting on and off. All of shaitan and all of Satan's program is to get people to falsely think they're on and move in that direction. And everything that Prophet brought for us, learn to be off in life. Learn to take your binary code and see who you are. The only one is Allah only one in your life. And in my life only one is Allah We are never the one. As a result your life is a dot. Anything you want to say, anything you want to do, anything you want to achieve, you're a dot. Not the one, Allah's the one, don't compete with Him. Because if He loves you and you compete, He smashes you. Because he loves you, he wants to draw you near, he doesn't want you into Satan's hands. So tests come heavy in your life to remind you, I am the one, La ilaha illallah, you are nothing and be nothing. And they found true power in nothing because of binary code. If you truly efface, what happens? You become nothing but when the One turns you on, you're on by His grace and His majesty and that becomes Hadithul Qudsi that my servant approached with voluntary worship. They did all of their obligatory worship, I became the eyes in which they see, I became the ears in which they hear, the whole hadith. I became the lips in which they spoke, the breath in which they breathe, the hands in which they touch, the feet in which they move. So much so they say, kun fayakun and they are Rabbaniyoon. This is the proof of the binary code. Not that they approached me with themselves and thinking they're great and then I crowned them because I agreed with their greatness. But the tariqah teaches, no you actually achieve that reality by being nothing, nothing, nothing. Let the one dress your ears, not Pharaoh, but the one, the only one, La ilaha illallah. That in every aspect of our life if we remember that we're now going to carry that into our work and into our home. Ya Nukht and Allah is the one. If I practice that, soon my hearing begins to open because the One blesses you with hearing. So now you hear through my hearing. Means I'll let you hear what no understanding, no ear can hear, each one with a unique gift. Each one sees uniquely by God's grace. No two people see the same, no even two people comprehend the same thing. If I tell you, look at this, what do you see there? Somebody else and each eye sees something different and comprehends something different. Imagine that's the physical but what Allah will give you of spiritual can't be understood. When you close your eyes to what level Allah will let you see, the next person what they see, each unique to their paradise and their reality. They speak from Allah's power means that this holy hadith of Prophet the inheritance of Prophet to his nation. If you want that, follow me. Allah said in Holy Qur'an, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَتَّبِيُونِ يُحِبُّكُمُ اللَّهِ Says if you want the path of nothing, follow Sayyidina Muhammad 
his laws and rules, his love and his guidance and the most published Prophet on earth. No imaginary where his cup is, where his this is, where his holy body is in Medina to Munawwara. Most documented Prophet on earth, why? Do you think it's a coincidence? You can't lie, you can't make it up, you can't make illusionary stories. His holy life is fully documented. You read it, you learn. You go to the presence, you fly to Medina and the holy body is lying there in wait for his nation to come. As a result Allah wants us to follow, if you want to be nothing follow Sayyidina Muhammad Then he gave to us, be from my people, we hear and we obey. That we pick up these sunnas, we pick up these ways, we pick up these teachings and we say to the, to the best of my ability my Lord grant me the strength to follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad and every step of the way the shaykhs teach try not to leave a sunnah, try your best to accomplish them and everyone will struggle with different ones. Doesn't mean you go somewhere and tap them on the head and said, you followed something wrong, only for yourself you, you guide because Allah will then hold you to hypocrisies that you didn't follow all of them. How many thousands of sunnahs you want to follow? Each servant uniquely follows their sunnahs and to the best of their ability they try to increase that and as a result why? Because now you're drawing near to Prophet because you're not trying to compete with him right? We're not competing with Allah so we're going to bring it down now for guidance that Allah is going to direct you say, okay you want to be on that path to be nothing? Follow Sayyidina Muhammad most documented Prophet on earth, don't make up any garbage stuff, don't make up any ridiculous things, follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of following you're now opening that binary code to be nothing. They say, oh Sayyidina Rasul this is difficult to follow this, to do this and to continuously keep your life and family in that direction. And that becomes the way of the nukht. We took a path of the way of the dot. Oh, we have that, that nukht, nukht, nukht. We have the nasheed on the nukht because the awliya knew you're not the one and you're not following a path of one, you're following a path of a nukht, of a dot. The world is telling you, be the one, but that's not for us. That's for hell. We're here to gain the entry to paradise and paradise lets all the zeros in, the nukht in because there's only but one in paradise and that's Allah The only La ilaha illallah, everything else is teaching us to be a nukht. His master is Muhammadun Rasulullah master of the nukht. in which achieved Abdullah, complete submission. He's the master of the nukht and that's why he's always in Divine the Presence. And when Allah turns him on he has one face facing the nation at all time guiding them. Because that hadith is for Prophet that I see with Allah's eyes, I hear with Allah's hearings, I speak with Allah's speaking. My hands, feet, all that hadith, that's ayatul kursi. Neither sleep nor slumber overtakes him. Who Allah was never thinking of sleeping. That's a description of Prophet At that state of submission of nukht, we just said that the nukht will be dressed by the one. But if you think you're one, you go to Jahannam. But the way was nukht and Prophet begin to give to us that if Allah dress you that's immense. There's neither sleep nor slumber overtaketh him. Means that Allah is seeing through his eyes his holy soul, hears through his holy soul. So what do you think the power of that holy soul has? 
immense powers, immense realities of Qur'an Allah is dressing his nuqta. And for us we come back into our lives was then we began to follow Prophet on this path of a nuqt. What he gave to us we try our best to follow, was he asked us to abstain with, we try our best to abstain and, and forbid within our lives. And then Prophet guided for us, then follow my ulul amr. And again the continuation is that in the presence of the shaykh I'm going to be a nuqt and he'll represent the one. And we try our best in life to follow the guidance, follow the guidance. And as much as we can follow that guidance we try to achieve. So they are in a continuous state of being nothing in the presence of Prophet So you see the binary code it goes one, zero. Then it goes one, zero because Allah, Prophet Then it has to go one, why? Because Prophet has to be on, now you are zero. But then the shaykh has to be on and then his students learn to be dot, dot nothing. So this becomes the success to our achievement towards the Divinely Presence of one and zero, on and off. Is to know in your life who's on, who's off. Now we take that back into our homes. So this is our spiritual path, now within our homes. Why 99% of all people are divorced? And why is difficulty in every job? Because everybody's on, everybody's one, everybody is the one. Between men and women they don't know who's the one. So they have all this gender garbage. But when they give one of these ones boxing gloves and he goes into the rings with the nukhs he kills them. Transgender boxer killed a lady, smashed her skull in because he said he associates being a woman. Went into a ring with a woman and gave, smashed in her entire head. Means we're playing with the devil. Everyone has to know who's one, who's off. In a home when everybody's on, well you can see then shaitan is there. From the kids to the spouse and to the male. The man has to know he's one and he has to represent the one. He represents his shaykh, he has to represent Prophet and he has to represent Allah He has to have taken a path to be nothing, nothing, nothing to them, not the home. He took a path to be nothing to them so that he reached to be rijal, guided individual. With the tarbiyah of guidance, this is the system Allah had designed for humanity. That the men they go and learn their religion, learn their manners, learn their character. They learn to efface, efface, efface so that they had a hardness and a softness. That they learn to be soft in the presence of their shaykhs, in the presence of Prophet And as a result they were supposed to go back home and be on because guidance comes. They have to guide the home, they have to safeguard the home, they have to bring the presence of the One into the home. And as a result the home was to have studied the same teachings that in your presence we're off. And as a result there would have been blessings in the home. When you acknowledge the one you respect him, you honour him and you listen to him. Is there any respect for Prophet if you ever talked back? Because then you're acting like one, means you have then shaitanic character. 
say something back to Prophet answer back, trying to demean, demote and defame somebody, what does that mean? If you wouldn't do it to Prophet then it should never be done within the home because this is the representative of Sayyidina Muhammad within the home. Not the woman represents Prophet, the man represents Prophet This is in the ideal system and that's why there would have been peace because they come, they acknowledge this is the Muhammadan representative, this is the prophetic representative, this is the Divinely representative. So then the man is in search of his rib, not a partner. He doesn't want any partners, he doesn't want shariq, right? Shaitan came and said, we're partners. It's like you go to Allah and say, well, Allah, I worship God but me and him we're good, astaghfirullah. No, no, you're not anything even comparable to Allah you're not a partner, you're not, Allah's not looking for any partners, nor is Prophet looking for a partner. You understood on your path you were a nukht, nothing, dot. But shaitan came into the home and told everybody they're partners. You're one, I'm one, we're all ones, the kids are now one too. My goodness, can you imagine the battle now with all these ones? And that's a satanic system, that's like Pharaoh. There's like the conference of the pharaohs because everyone's a one now and they're going to pick up the phone and call other people to say, tell them I'm a one, that I can say whatever what I want in this house. That's not the heavenly system. As a result of following the satanic system all peace has left, all blessings have left. And the only way to be safe through difficulties is not by running a satanic system. Because people think they're worshipping Allah, that they're loving Prophet but they're running a satanic system at home. And there's no peace shaykh, why would there be peace if we didn't really understand that you worship Allah and your wife is your rib, she's not your partner, she's not your boss, she's not your equal. She comes from within you but people are now looking for partners to be shariq. They're not of the same strength nor do they have the same role from Allah where we start boxing each other and say we're both strong. Now you see them, they go into the bathroom, they harm people, it's some sort of garbage shaitan is, is playing upon this earth to people, fooling them. But more so giving everybody the opinion they're all one and as a result there's no peace at home. And then you carry that to your work too and you think you're the one and your boss is the one but that's not true. Allah said, He's the one you're nukht, learn to be off in the presence of your employer and your boss, he's the boss, shari, he's the, is your governor. Even for the home the Islamic terminology was Rabb al-Bayt, you are the Lord of this house. The prophetic Islamic title is Ya Rabb al-Bayt, not shariq of the bayt and she's and you have rububiyya or how, how do you call the double lords, rubab? Arbab, yeah these are the Arbab of the house. No, you're Rabb al-Bayt, you're the Lord of this house. But shaitan came and whispered to everybody, no, no, you're also Lord too. But it ruined the system and as a result you try to take the energy away from that one. By insulting the one, defaming the one, making all sorts of comments to the one you took away his God-given right and as a result he's no longer interested in you because he's created to be one. You want to pull his oneness away, immediately he retreats, says, my role is not to be a dot in this house and you cut your hair short and think you're a man.
But your job was to submit. Let the barakah of guidance come into the home and I take the role of being the one whom represents Allah and represents the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and there would have been sakina and peace in the home. Because people think they're doing their Islam, they're doing all their tariqah things and then this other modality we'll work on that later but days of difficulty are coming. If people don't know their role because they think with the shaykh they're gonna be a one, then they think with Prophet they're going to be a one, they talk of if they're buddies, this one I do, that one I don't do, this one I don't know, I don't really know, I don't know, think about what are you talking about? You're not a partner with Sayyidina Muhammad Your role was to say, oh yeah that's the rule but I cannot follow it, I don't know how to get to it, maybe inshaAllah Allah guide me. But our rule was that we were a nukhta, nukhta, nukhta and at home you now represent the one, let's see how you can govern your home and understand the satanic system has now destroyed it because now even the little one can't even walk, he's a one. He's got an opinion and a, and a whole direction he's going to go, right? They want to re- orient the two years old, three years old people. They don't even know what their existence is and now want to sh- change them in different directions. It's a satanic system. But Allah had created a perfected system and told you she's from your rib, she's from within you. And if, if the home understood the reality like we just explained it to Allah, imagine then the power that people would have had, right? If that person was really a nukht at home, she can fully take the operation of that man. Just like Allah dresses you. If the person is loving, kind, respectful, they gain the power of the man, the vision of the man and the support of the man because he would do anything for nukht because it's in his being to feed them, support them and shelter. But when you become a one like you want to do boxing with him, you're taking away that understanding and that reality and that person now is completely disoriented from a Divinely guidance and a Divinely system. Hence then the collapse of everything. So in our lives this becomes every aspect of our life is a binary code of Samina Watana. My rule was to submit. I want to submit to Allah and I'm going to find a way to submit to Prophet And when I'm serious about submitting to Prophet I'm going to find his ulul amr, his guides, his tariqahs. And I try my best to follow to the best of my ability. The shaykh says this, I try my best, try my best because I'm going to challenge myself in submitting and as a result I'm being dressed with that oneness. When I go into my home then I have to be respected like the one. That this is a Muhammadan representative, don't do anything against that reality. And then go take all the hadith of how angered Allah is by somebody who disrespects their husband in their home. That's why because Allah says, they're coming against me, they're coming against Sayyidina Muhammad And they're listening to shaitan to destroy the heavenly kingdom system. And how angered Allah is when you bother your boss, same rules. That again you're acting like the one but this person is paying you, taking care of you. You're trying to cheat the work and not do the work that you were supposed to do. All of these same realities that's why these hadiths are in this situation because people say, well why are some of these hadiths so sort of powerful against? Because the system, when you come against the Muhammadan representative it's not something small to God. Because you're actually saying, I'm coming against you because you made this system. I'm coming against Sayyidina Muhammad because he's a part of that system. So there are many people that you are trying to defame when you have that type of characteristic. So the tariqahs come and teach us 
that Samina Watana and the binary code and on and off, because tonight's version of on and off is in every aspect of our life. No, don't shaykh, it's just only for meditation. It's in every aspect of our lives. If we can't figure the system out and that the people we're with have absolutely no respect for the system, hence the difficulties. It's very difficult for somebody to play a role that's not their God-given role and that's why they have difficulties. And they have to keep praying for Allah for guidance, they guide them, guide them and that inshaAllah the guidance of people to come and say that, look if we want tranquility you're not giving up power because the same people in dunya say, no if I don't act like the one I'm never going to have any power. It's the falseness of the power. Same with the home, they say, if I don't act like a one and be a co-boxer in the home, oh I won't get my way on anything. No, there was proof from the world. Whatever you want you became nothing, Allah addressed you with everything because it's the reverse of what this world teaches you. Shaykh if I go out I have to go out and say this and say that and do like this so that people will know me. No, true, true knowledge of you will only come from Allah In the mastering of being nothing I'll address you with everything. Then imagine people in the home, of course they would. If they truly dressed with nothing Allah would have dressed the home with everything because a nukht can get its way with one. I don't know if the words come true or come clear. When they become real good nukhs we call them awliya. You know what that means? They're friends but they're like spoiled children of God because when they ask Allah He gives to them in ways they can't imagine. They ask and Allah gives to them like kids. Not because they're one because they took such a path of nothing, nothing, nothing that when they ask God He gives to them. Because you've drawn very near to me for all of the, the times that you've been nothing. And, and Mawlana would describe they're like spoiled children. So whatever they're asking for Allah is granting them in ways that people can't even imagine how things come to them. It wasn't that they had to go out and take it. We're not Vikings, we don't have to go take things from people, they're in mine now. <laughs> no. You had to be nothing and that doesn't make sense to anyone in the world, in the material world. What do you mean be nothing? Yeah, be nothing, you give you everything. You make du'a and something, somebody wired money into your account in ways you can't imagine. If you took a path to nothing Allah send you everything. We have a very famous rapper here. Mr. Dylan, but not, not those kind of rappers, <laughs> car rapper. <laughs> He's not those kind of rapper, Mr. Colin is a car rapper, a beautiful servant of Allah We needed the van wrapped, we took it to his, his service, he says, oh I have an affinity with Sufism, Bismillah, Ummi. Our lives are daily like this. To meet the true servants of Allah you don't know where they're hidden. They take this truck to go get food and the store empties everything from what they have into the food. They have so much they bring to his driveway, thousands where people can't afford food now. They're bringing it to the driveways of our homes saying, here's you know these 500 cases give them to people, we don't want to throw it away. This was not from being a one and a viking going scaring people to do this, it was taking a path of being nothing. So my Lord I don't know how, how am I going to do it, just help me. And whatever they ask their Lord's bounty is endless, Allah has, it's not a, it doesn't take anything from Allah it doesn't empty His pockets. So their life was to come back and prove to people Really you don't have to be a viking and conquer everything, you only had to be nothing. Now imagine somebody who is an expert in nothing at home, 
if that spouse prays, everything will come into that home. Although we'll make the man to do what was necessary, we'll make the family to do everything because they understood to be a nukht. But shaitan comes to people and says, no you be a viking. But that doesn't work. And you think you're going to get from Prophet because he's scared of you? I'm going to leave the sunnah, give me what I want. No, but you're nukht, you're nukht, you're nukht. You make a du'a and he says, I love you for the sake of my love for you, what are you asking? InshaAllah a reminder for myself as we're all facing always difficulties, <laughs> this path is to be nothing and there's always a constant reman- reminder. Our life is like a nail and everybody seems to be a hammer to knock you on the head and bring you down back to, to nothingness. We pray that Allah make it easy for everybody in this ocean of trying to submit and uh, unify people's hearts whom are broken inshaAllah, those whom are distant to bring near and those whom are sick to be healed and those whom have that love for the Divine the Presence to find guidance inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdalillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisir Surat al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.